back everybody to WWTA News. Welcome back for another episode. Um, I hope you guys still keep up with the information. It's useful. And uh, I hope nobody's down and depressed in the dumps because we saw the total market cap fall. And yes, we might have possibly seen the slight devaluation of some of these currencies we're holding. But don't let what you see happening in the retail market sway you from what's happening across the whole gamut okay so let's go ahead and get to uh, some articles we got three articles today i'm gonna do my best to get through them at a good pace time and uh you know i just want you all to absorb the information and start thinking about what you're seeing and hearing and make the decisions based on that so there's an article from Bricks, uh, excuse me, from Watcher Guru. It says Bricks New Development Bank now offers loans in local currencies instead of U.S. dollars. So even though we're seeing the market take the hit that it's taking, what I'm saying is, and this is how I'm carrying it. Uh, this is how I look into the future and base the moves that I make. So you know, do what you want to do. As you already know, I'm not a financial advisor. I just like to read articles. So when I see stuff like this, it tells me that no matter what is happening in the market, there are actions in the background that are happening, which are still proving that there is a new system at hand and at play, and it's not going anywhere. So let's dig into this article. It says the U.S. dollar has been losing its role in global trade. When the pound sterling lost its value during World War I and World War II, the U.S. dollar was established as a global reserve currency. However, global nations are slowly steering away from U.S. dollar reliance. And just so you can absorb that, it says... However, global nations are slowly steering away from U.S. dollar reliance. They don't want to rely on a dollar. The only reason it came into existence is because of World War I and World War II. We don't really want to be tied to that. We, don't, we really don't like your sanctions is what they're saying. And we don't want to be tied to you dominating and ruling over all of us because... You know, a, a, a meeting was had and behind those closed doors, some decisions were made with different, uh, you know, nations to make this possible. But what they're saying is we're done with it. We're tired of it. It's old. We don't want it. Now, it goes on to say now the new development bank, the NDB of the BRICS group, has begun to offer loans in local currencies. They're offering loans in local or native, native to that location, currencies. Now, isn't that what, you know, you'd ask yourself, well, how come it's never been like that? How come? How come? How come that's never been, that's never been a thing? Like, how come? You know, that could go many ways you do your own thinking on that do your own research but you know you got to ask that question if you don't ask that question then you're doing yourself a disservice and not fully understanding the financial market how it works and why the things that are happening today are happening all right but let's let's continue this right it says the move to offer loans in local currencies is to steer away from the U.S. dollar's dependency. We don't want to be dependent on the U.S. dollar, okay? Because then that means they can have their way with us, shake us, and 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 everything else to make us bend at their will if we want to continue to have that relationship, right? It says the plan to offer the loan was reportedly confirmed by NDB president. Dilma Rousseff, uh, she also stated that the bank aims to provide 30% of the loans in the local currencies of member nations. So everybody that's a member of this BRICS nation, we're going to offer loans in all of your currencies so it'll help bring up the value in your currencies. This is what I assume, and I could be wrong, but I could assume that this is their attempt is to bring each other up all to a level playing field 
could be wrong, but you know, hey, we're just reading and trying to figure it out and understand it. It goes on to say Rusev recently stated this in April 14th interview with CGTN regarding the move. Quote, it is necessary to find ways to avoid foreign exchange risk and other issues such as being dependent on a single currency such as the United States dollar. Nobody wants to be a dependent. All right. So obviously no one wants to be dependent on the United States. Everyone wants to do their own thing, stand on their own feet and make their own decisions. All right. So we look at this, you know, uh, it, it's 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 the trend um, for the longest time. The United States has had a dominance over uh, different nations and countries. And so they're tired of it. And they're separating from it. And so, wow. Hey, you know, look, everybody's doing their own thing. Do not get it twisted. Do not think that cryptocurrency or digital currency is going to end. Do not think that they're going to shake the system and get rid of it. It benefits them all. They're all using it. If you base all your information on what you hear in the United States, you're limiting uh, the amount of information uh, that you can make any decisions based on so anyways yeah they don't want to be dependent on the u.s all right zimbabwe central bank to issue gold back digital currency zimbabwe all right this is major the reserve bank of zimbabwe is set to introduce a gold back digital currency to serve as legal tender in the country a gold backed digital currency okay they're going to create a currency that's going to have its value backed by gold now i want you to think about this the united states has the usdc right the united states dollar coin and it is backed by united states dollars one for one and the short-term bonds that they have now zimbabwe says we're just going to back our currency with gold so you can see how the stability will exist now what networks or blockchains will these currencies run on who knows your guess is as good as mine but the point is the currency the digital market the digital space the cryptocurrency it's here to stay according to a report from local media outlet the sunday mail the move will allow small amounts of zimbabwean dollars to be exchanged for the digital gold token enabling more zimbabwean to hedge against currency volatility uh, reserve bank of zimbabwe governor john Menguja said the plan intends to leave no one and no place behind so small amounts of zimbabwean dollars to be exchanged for the digital gold token so what's going to happen is they're going to take their money their local money their native currency and they're going to swap it out for these digital gold tokens or digital gold coins these uh, which can be then put on what the exchange is swapped out on exchanges. You can put them in your digital wallets uh, and they're yours. You, you're swapping out for a stable currency, which means that here I am sitting in the United States. If I get on the exchange, I can get some of their stable currency to hold value because it's stable. It's backed by gold. So I can say, OK, well, I want some um, I want some of their digital gold token. So I can make my money stable, right? Let's just say I want to take, I don't know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten grand and turn it into um, something stable that's not going to fluctuate. It's going to hold its value based on the fact that gold holds its value. Bam. You know what I'm saying? If that's not major, I don't know what is. Crypto adoption has grown in many African countries as a result of economic challenges, according to chain analysis. The Middle East and North Africa is the fastest growing region for crypto adoption thanks to cross-border remittances with over 566 billion in crypto transactions between July 2021 and June 2022, up 48% from the previous year. So obviously, crypto adoption is growing faster than you can imagine. It's not going anywhere. Final article, final article, last call, last call. All right, XRP, ADA, SHIB, and other cryptos can be used for purchases at 400 merchants via this collaboration. 
XRP aid Shiba and other supported cryptocurrencies can be used for purchases at 400 merchants in seven countries as Binance Pay. Binance Pay announces its collaboration with Ivan Pay, an international payment service. As stated in a blog post, Binance has onboarded Ivan Pay as a global cryptocurrency payment gateway for Binance Pay, a contactless user-to-user cryptocurrency payment feature on the Binance app. All right, Binance is making these moves. Thus, Binance users can now make purchases at all locations of Ivan Pay's international network with their cryptocurrency. So wherever Ivan Pay is accepted, right? So, I mean, cryptocurrencies aren't going anywhere. I know we're looking at the market. It's taking a little tumble, as we believe. But the market's been down from the almost $3 trillion that it was for some time. And the major moves we're expecting to see makes even that three trillion look stupid. It's irrelevant. When we look at the one trillion that we're at now, we're like, oh, my God, the market's horrible. You know, what do we do? Well, other nations and countries are still setting up these systems. I myself ask the question all the time, you know, how come it's not showing in the uh, capital market right now? Well, maybe they haven't started uh buying the currencies they need to make these things happen and then again you know i well, i really don't know i don't know that's a good question maybe they just have not started buying the currencies and putting them in in their wallets so that they can make these transactions happen all right and i know on the retail side uh, uh, uh the common person we're not even doing these transactions, especially in the United States. Most people in the United States think this is a hoax. They don't believe this stuff. So they don't have wallets and they don't have currency. And one of the major things is once people realize that it's real and start purchasing these currencies, then you're going to see the value itself increase even more. The thing that we're probably looking at is our people around us here in the United States, they don't understand because they don't believe what's happening. All right. The new system is digital, which means you're all going to have to pick up digital currencies to make these transactions happen. I want you to think about the article you just heard about Africa. They're going to take their Zimbabwean dollars, bring them into the exchange, probably through a ATM machine, uh, a crypto ATM machine. They're going to buy some gold backed um, tokens that belong to Zimbabwe. And that's going to bring them onto the blockchain. So let's just imagine each person over there. Um, I don't know. Pick a country out of Africa. Zimbabwe. Yes. Let's say all the Zimbabweans, right? Purchase, I don't know, um, uh, 50 to $100 worth of those gold tokens. Let's say that's, I don't know, uh, 5, 10, 15 million people at, at, at a $100 worth. Think about the amount of currencies that have to be bought, right? I don't know what network you're, they're building these, uh, building and running these uh, tokens and cryptocurrencies off of. I don't know. But either way, you're bringing money by the masses or assets and value onto the market at that time. So even though we see these things are up and running, we probably are not seeing them fully, well, not even fully, partially being used because then we see the capital market jump to a crazy number. And so we're all just sitting here waiting for as it comes adoption more people need to understand the use okay if if you can get your neighbor or your friend or your family member to understand why they need to be collecting the currency for the future use the immediate future use why they need to be picking up um i don't know stellar lumens or xrp or um or or uh, uh you know whatever whatever run whatever whatever cryptocurrency can run usdc stable coins or central bank digital currencies why they should be picking those currencies up now is because they're going to take those currencies and i'm gonna end with this i know i get long-winded they're let's say they're let's say they're you're going to go to walmart in the united states and you're going to use usdc to go in there and purchase your goods all right you might as well start collecting the currencies needed now to get that so let's say you're going to use usdc you have to get USDC. You can get it off a few different networks. You can get it from the Stella Loomis network. You can get it. Uh, uh, who else? Who else? Um, I don't know. 
if there's a connection to XRP and USDC or Tether, I don't know. But I'm sure XRP is going to have a connection to it. Um, you can get it with Solana. You can get USDC with Solana. Um, I think some of the Ethereum back tokens, you can access USDC. I don't know about that cost for it. I'm, I'm more, you know, to go other directions. You have a, a numerous amount of actual networks that have coins that you're going to have to have those coins to swap them out for a stable coin or a uh, central bank digital coin that will run on that network to do the transaction. Uh, so I'm trying to explain this and, 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 and simplify it, right? In order, let's say that they set the USDC up. You're going to go to Walmart. You're going to make a payment in USDC, but you don't have USDC. But in order for you to get USDC, you're going to have to get it on a network, which means, and, and I'm using Stellar, Stellar Lumens as a network, right? X, not saying this is what it's going to be, but I'm just saying we'll use that network. So you'll say, okay, well, in order for me to get the United States dollar coin, I'm going to have to get a currency or use a network that carries it. So I'll say, okay, well, Stellar Lumens uses the usdc on this network and i need that usdc to go to walmart to do my shopping so i have to go buy stellar lumens the amount to, to allow me to buy the usdc so let's say i need 300 dollars worth of usdc and i can get it on the stellar's network and i'm going to have to get uh that value off of uh, xlm all right so i'm going to have to get my usdc through stellar lumens just an example and so i get the stellar lumens the value that i need in usdc now i have it stored in my stellar lumens wallet so i go to walmart i make a purchase i open up my wallet i scan their um usdc uh qr code i i chose um the stellar lumens because that's the the uh, network i'm running on or let's just say um Walmart system figures that out. You just click on the USDC, you scan the barcode, um, it accepts your USDC, um, and then your payment's done. So because we know that that's what's coming in our near future, you're just explaining to your family, friends, and loved ones that you're only getting these currencies for the future use. That's it. You know it's going to be used in the future. All right, so without being so long, we it out in there. These are important articles. Uh, please talk with your family, friends, and loved ones. Share this information. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next episode.